hi everyone let's provide the solution here we have x plus y equals 3 then x times y equals 1 this is our equation 1 and this is our equation 2 okay from equation 1 I would like to make x the subject so x will now become 3 minus y and this is our equation 3 we are going to need it now equation 1 is x y equals 1 I mean equation 2 but then our equation 3 says x is 3 minus y so I'm going to put it in here so in place of x I'm going to write 3 minus y then this y will come down and the whole of this is equal to 1 if you open the bracket 3 times y is 3y then minus y times y is minus y squared and this is equal to 1 there will be need for us to rearrange so that this one will come first this is minus y squared plus 3y equals 1 now y squared minus 3y equals minus 1 now who knows what I have just done what I did is to multiply everything by negative 1 so that this first term here will become positive now the next step is to bring this minus 1 to the left so that we now have y squared minus 3y plus 1 equals 0 right now from here we have a quadratic equation and it's left for us to decide the method to use and if you have been following me you will see that i always use um the formula method i always use the formula method and the formula is y equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2 times a mind you that what you have here depends on the unknown variable in the equation now we have y here so that means you're looking for y y becomes the subject of the formula okay and then our a is 1 the coefficient of y squared b is minus 3 and then our c is 1 y now is going to be minus minus 3 because this negative will come first and b itself is negative 3 then plus or minus b squared b squared is minus 3 in bracket squared then minus 4 times 1 times 1 because both a and c are 1. We divide this by 2 times 1. Now, y from here will now be minus. By the way, minus minus will turn to positive. So let me just have 3 in this bracket. Then we have plus or minus. Minus 3 squared is positive 9. Then minus 4 times 1 times 1 will give us 4 then we divide this by 2 y is 3 plus or minus the square root of 5 9 minus 4 is 5 then we divide by 2 this is a 2 in 1 solution this means that y is equal to 3 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 or 3 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 okay so from here now we go back to our equation 3 remember our equation 3 is x 
equals 3 minus y. Now we know the value of y. Okay, so we're going to have x to be my um to be 3 minus open bracket y is 3 plus root 5 divided by 2. Okay, so we open the bracket so that we'll have 3, right? And then we'll now have um negative multiplied by this okay if it's going to confuse you see what you can do as well open this brackets this here can be written as 3 over 2 plus root 5 over 2 if it's going to confuse you this is what you will do right then you now have x to be 3 minus 3 over 2 okay 3 over 2 times negative is negative 3 over 2 then negative negative multiplied by the whole of this will now be negative root 5 over 2 so this is what we have and we can simplify this the lcm is 2 remember x is already on its own okay this could have been over 1 2 divided by 1 is 2 times 3 that will be 6 then minus 2 divided by 2 is 1 times 3 we have 3 then minus 2 divided by 2 is 1 times root 5 that will be root 5 so now our x is equal to 6 minus 3 will give us um, 3 root 5 and this is over 2 okay so we have this over 2 now we get the solution at this point if x is this then y that we got before is um, 3 plus root 5 over 2 okay so when x is this value y is this value and if you look at the two of them very well you will see that they are almost the same except the negative and the positive right so that means that the second value of x will be equal to 3 plus root 5 okay divided by 2 this will be the second value of x and the second value of y will be the negative of this which will be 3 minus root 5 divided by 2 so by this we have solved this completely if you're not too certain if you're not too certain about this you can take your time and solve it this is what you're going to get for the second value of x and y thank you for watching